So in this class, we will be uh, thinking about permutations and combinations. Again, very, very scoring topic. I think we can solve all the problems of permutation combination very, very easily. These are easy problems. So here, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to divide n things into r groups. So very, 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 very simple. Okay. So we can have, for example, three things. I can divide it into groups such as and I am trying to divide these three things into two groups. So I can divide it in, in such a way. So these are the identical things, first of all. So I can divide it in such a way that the first group has two and the second group has one thing. Or I can even have first group has zero things and the second group has all three things and so on and so forth. There can be various uh, ways of dividing these uh, n things into two groups. So we are generalizing it and we are coming up with a formula for dividing n things into r groups. So here is a problem for you. There are 16 identical pencils which have to be distributed among four children and each children must, must get at least three pencils. Now after each one gets three pencils, now the remaining pencils we can distribute in any way we, way we want. Uh, so we will give all the pencils to our favorite children if that's what we uh, that's what we uh, we desire. That's also allowed. Okay. So the first thing is that each child must get at least three pencils. So twelve pencils have been accounted for. Those are guaranteed to go uh, be divided into uh, groups of three each. Okay. So th those have to be divided in groups of three each. Uh, no other no other way around it because each each child has to get three pencils. So th those twelve have already been accounted for. Where we have leeway is that uh, after those division of 12 pencils, then the remaining four, we can then divide in any way which we want. And that is where our uh, permutations would actually come into play. So let us understand before we deal with this permutation, let us understand the case of dividing three balls into two groups. So we are trying to divide these three balls into two groups. How, how can we possibly divide it? Uh, see, the thing is here we use a trick. We create a separator so we have a separator in the form of a stick and the division of these three balls could be thought of as the arrangement all possible arrangements of these three balls plus the separator so here is one possible arrangement for you the three balls are already divided into two groups in such a way that i have all three balls on one side and on the other side of separator, there is nothing. There are zero balls. What could be another possible way? Another possible way could be this way. Okay. So we this another arrangement of the balls and the separator and the one stick. So if for example, I had total of R groups, then I would use R minus one stick. That is what I would use. In this case, I had, uh, I had two groups. I had to divide into two groups. So I needed only one separator. That is two minus one, only one separator. If I have to divide things into R groups, how many separators do I need? I need R minus one separator. So that is simple. And of course, we have N things. So those N things definitely come into play. So now the separator is in the middle. That's another arrangement. Now separator, uh, could be here that's another arrangement then the separator could be here that's another arrangement and then separator finally could be here and that's another arrangement so my problem of dividing this three ball into two groups has now been reduced i have just made it so that this problem has now become a problem of actual arrangement of these four things that is n balls plus r minus one separator I have to arrange them and what are the number of ways of arranging these, these two r minus one okay factorial of this that is the number of possible arrangements of course when i am doing these arrangements my balls are identical so the various arrangements of these balls among themselves for example the separator is on one side now the various arrangements of balls among themselves those do not matter those are exactly equivalent if this this ball was here or this ball was here i cannot really tell so those balls are really identical. So I have to divide by n because those are n identical things. And again, the separator here only we have one, but in general case, we will have r minus one separators and those separators are also identical. So I have to divide by r minus one again. So that is the, uh, that is what we have to do. If we have 
the permutations of identical things so so we had uh, n balls which were identical and r minus 1 separator which were identical so those two come into play here of course this is nothing but n c r okay this is nothing but n c r notice that i am using capital notation here where my n is actually equal to n plus r minus 1 and my r is actually equal to r minus 1 okay so you can substitute the values and you can you can confirm that that this formula is nothing but ncr so we can finally write this thing as this entire thing this entire problem where i have uh, n balls and i want to divide them into r groups that becomes nothing but n plus r minus 1 okay we'll just put brackets here so that things remain a little bit simple a uh, c r minus 1 okay so that is what this comes out to be so here we have just already derived it i had kept a slide for that so now we can again go back okay first we can actually use our formula and derive in the for the case of the the four uh, three balls and one separator so we already know that there were four cases we already seen all those four cases where the separator was in this location let's say that our if our formula also gives us the answer four so our n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 becomes this n is actually 3 where three balls and there are two groups so there are three balls and there are two groups so 2 minus 1 and here we have 2 minus 1 and if we were to find this this becomes factorial of 3 plus 2 minus 1 is nothing but this will be 4 okay so this will be 4 right here and this 2 minus 1 will be nothing but 1 okay so this becomes n plus r minus 1 divided by factorial n factorial r minus 1 n plus r minus 1 we already know we have computed it it's 4 n is 3 so this is factorial 4 divided by factorial 3 and r minus 1 we have also computed and this is also 1 so if you compute this this comes out to be 4 because this 3 and everything here but the term 4 would actually cancel out so very very simple okay so this this formula actually works we now know that we have confirmed it and our intuition also tells us that it it in it works and now let us use the same formula in our problem so our problem was actually that now we have we are left with four pencils after giving three pencil to each of the 12 children and we have to divide these four pencils among our four children okay so this is our n and this is our r so we have to divide these uh, four pencils into uh, four groups so we will use our same formula again nothing difficult n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 and this will come 4 plus 4 which is 8 minus 1 7 c r minus 1 this is 7 c 3 if you compute this this comes out to be 35 you can compute the uh, 7 c 3 i i trust you for that so again very very simple problem provided you know this special case you understand this special case of dividing n identical things into r groups so if you understood this good for you thank you